In just a few short weeks, a neighborhood institution will close its doors for the last time. Stoltz Dry Cleaners has been a fixture in St. Paul's Mac Groveland community for 100 years. Joel and Marie Tracy and their family have operated it for the past 37 years. Now they say the long hours and the need for costly improvements have sealed their decision to call it quits. Bill Hudson paid a visit today. I have to imagine this was really difficult for them to do, Bill. Tough for a lot of customers too, Frank, sure. absolutely. You know, you don't stay in business as long as Stoltz Cleaners has and not be serving your customers well. Now years of loyalty is quickly turning into days of sadness. It's been anchoring the corner at Snelling and Grand for decades. We came in in 79. Joel and Marie Tracy have owned Stoltz Dry Cleaners the past 37 years. Yeah, I was getting tired. Been a lot of years. But on January 2nd, the conveyors stopped for the last time. Nothing lasts forever. I mean, Dayton's is gone. <laughs> People still talk about it. <laughs> Joel says the business has changed. Fewer customers, thinner margins, and it's too costly to upgrade aging equipment. Every customer comes in here, I tell them I, don't, I won't miss the stress or the hours, yeah. but I will miss you. A door sign breaks the bad news to longtime customers like Samantha Gimberling. I was like, I can't believe my dry cleaner's closing. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's sad. It's a big, you know, it's a community neighborhood, so it's a big loss. Others find out in a phone call. Um, I can recommend another cleaners if you're interested. Joel's the guy who presses the flags that cover veterans' caskets. He's done some 1,400 over the years. And that's probably the hardest thing that I ever talk about because, um, I'm not one, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to be. And never charged a dime. Some people gave their life for their country. I'm just pressing a flag. In a small family business, that's been so much more. Everybody that comes in says, they say something nice, or you know, I'm going to miss you, or you guys have been so good to us all those years. And it's just, oh, damn, it just gets, um, it's hard. Yeah, you can really tell that in his voice. Judging by the folks stopping by today, they will really be missed. The uh, property has been sold. Plans are for two shops to take that space, a My Burger and nothing but cakes. So mm. no, yeah, no longer a dry cleaner. Absolutely. Times change, huh? Mm, they sure have. It's been there for so many years. You know, it was started by a different family. They kept the name saying there was so much name recognition that they wanted to keep the name, mm -hmm. but uh, supported a family for all those years. Well, we wish them well. Yeah, we do. Thanks, Bill. Thank mm -hmm. you, Bill.